Hi hey everybody with AtlantaBattingCage.com and we're gonna build over here a batting cage with a pitching lane on the side. So we decide over here to make a 12 feet tall, 14 feet wide, 45 feet long batting cage and a pitching lane that's gonna be 12 feet wide and 65 feet long. The reason to have a simulate a distance between the batters and the pitcher's plate. So that area is gonna be on the side towards the fence. And here's where we're start, gonna start making it. The first thing that we're gonna do it is, once we find the area that we're gonna be working with, we wanna mark it up, make the timbers around it. Timbers gonna be inside, outside gonna be the poles. And we start the process over here. Scraping out everything, all the grass has got to be scraped out, no mulch, uh, clean it up pretty much everything. And then we use a wheat liner or a wheat fabric. And on top of that one, we're gonna toss some, on this case, we're using crash and run. We highly recommend it to do either crash and run or 57 gravel. After that one, we're gonna be putting on top of it, we need to put M10, also called granite dust. Make sure you do the compact before you put the wheat liner, after the crush and run, and after the M10. So a well compact area, it will cut the sinks, it will cut the bumps on the turf. As you can see right here, the M10 on top, it helps to make the area smoother. And now, after everything up, here is the final product. Pitch and lane with a home plate, batter's box with lines and a home plate inlay. And also we got the 45 feet batting cage. 12 feet high, 16 feet wide frame for the cage. So that way the net, it hangs at 14. That gives us a gap between the poles, so before the ball hits into the poles, it will be staying inside the cage. The most popular size that we have on the batting cage, it's a 45 feet long batting cage. That's the most popular, that doesn't mean that it's standard, there's no standard sizes on the batting cages. We also, the next size that we sell the most, it would be a 30 footer. The reason is that the idea on the, on the batting cage is to hit, not to see the ball flying because there's not much room in the batting cage to see the ball flying as a lot of people require to do that so far. We can make uh, any size, any high, any width, but the prices goes up and it's different prices of course according to the sizes. Quotes, they're not that easy, there's no standard price uh, about uh, building a batting cage. So, 45 the most popular, then we go with the 30 footers. Then we go back to the 60 footers because on the 60 foot batting cage you can use a pitching machine because that way the release point at least gonna be between 40 and 45 feet. The reason is because we have to give some room for the batters and for the pitchers on the end. So that's the reason even when you have a 60 footer, the release point is gonna be better leave between 40 and 45 feet. So you can see this cage, I mean, it's all you need, 45 feet is a long body cage, three sections, 50 feet, 15 feet apart with a heating mat, lattice box, six by 12 with a line and a plate inlaid, uh, the net savers, and then we also have the pitcher screen. We're gonna be selling a ball basket as well, the pitching mound. But for now, uh, this customer has the mound already in the ball basket. Thanks so much for watching. We're at AtlantaBodyCage.com.